Aha, I think you do. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Excellent. Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, with you with a Thursday night, Thursday the 4th of May. And we've just popped up to say hi and dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Lots of subjects for discussion tonight. So if you've got something you'd like to say about them, feel free to do so. And I shall read out your comments. We've just done a live broadcast on Periscope and run the subjects past a lot of the world there. We're back on Facebook Live, of course, so lovely to have you with us. And if you're watching right now, welcome, 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 I say. This is Scotty McClure. I am the world's top broadcaster, and I'm here for Chit Chat with your good selves. Now, this is to take away the boredom of politics, elections, all that. We're not discussing any of that tonight. So they are banned. Also, we don't want any idiots tonight, so it's the intelligentsia. You know who you are, of course. Get yourselves on, and let's talk about everything except politics. Now, tonight, we're looking at should we have a ban on women drivers during the rush hour, right? Now, I've said this for years. Women drivers in general, I mean, there are some great ones, don't get me wrong, but women drivers in general are very, very dangerous. And I think that that danger is exacerbated during the rush hour in all our major cities throughout the world. So what I'm suggesting is, say between the hours of 7 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock in the morning, women keep off the road altogether. That's what I reckon there. Becky says, good evening, Scotty. Hello. Good evening from Washington, D.C. America loves you, says Gregor. Jane McDonald, good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, Jane. Dinky do. Wadge is there. What happened, says Wadge. I don't know, Wadge. The video has stopped. No, no, as far as I know, it's still going. Go for it, Scotty. Lol. Excellent. So, some great discussion on here tonight, and that's what matters. That is the big one. Now, also... Is it possible to be Christian and to be gay? Now, this is very important that we discuss this because if you think about it, the Bible tells us with absolute clarity the word of God, man shall not lie with man, nor woman with woman. And yet, obviously, gay people are very, very keen to practice their faith if they are Christians. So I think it's something we need to discuss here. The video's fine, says Denny McLaughlin. Absolutely. Joanna K. Jackson's watching. Louis Faber, have you muted me? No, Louis, why would we mute you? Just because you've got some strange ideas? I don't think we would mute you for that. Rod Stewart's watching. Dink you do. Now, guys, if you've just joined us for the first time, I'm Scotty McClure. I'm the world's top broadcaster. We've got a huge program running at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night on Facebook Live. Massive, massive, massive program. And thousands join us for that. So, lovely to have you with us. Make sure you stay with us. But also, check out Scotty McClure on social media, YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on LinkedIn if you're a business person. And <clears throat> we're raising money for an independent media. So if you want to go fund me, go to the GoFundMe page. Put in Scotty McClure and stick in five bucks, ten bucks, five pounds, ten pounds, whatever you can. Man cannot lie with man. So they're saying don't tell lies, says Louis. Very, very good, Louis. Uh, Cam Hamilton's watching. God bless the Lord, says Joanna K. Jackson. What are we talking about today? Uh, so there we are. Uh, Gaz Rolly Jones, subject female drivers aren't safe and should not be driving during the rush hour. I've missed these wonderful topics, says Paul Francis Carroll. We need a Skype phone in and some live music. Absolutely. I've got the Skype phone in up. If you want to Skype me, you can do right now. Scotty.McClue. But mind your language. Also, simply the best old friend. Fantastic. And uh, lovely to have you all with us, guys. Now, if you're watching right now, do me a favor. Share right now. Share, 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 share. As quick as you possibly can. Uh, we're only saying what the subject is. That's right, absolutely. And uh, that's what debate is for. Is somebody cheeking up to you? Andy Taylor's watching. Dinky-doo. Craig Gordon. Andrew McDonald's watching. Marvellous to have you with us, of course. 
excellent stuff. So, two main subjects for our discussion tonight, guys. Keep us off the politics. Uh, fantastic stuff. You know I would like to see an independent Scotland, but that's not political, that's economic. Uh, so there you are. Wendy Garrett's watching. Mark Cruden, make good men better. Absolutely, Mark. And uh, Craig Gordon's watching. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us. I just popped up ad hoc. I did a quick broadcast on Periscope. That's another platform we're broadcasting on. And guys, if you can all subscribe to me on the YouTube channel, every single one of you, if you've got a YouTube account, then that allows you to subscribe. Go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and subscribe. And actually do it. Don't just think, oh, I, I must do that someday. So there we go. Thank you do, Scotty, says Craig. Robert Devlin has shared. And Ron Stewart has shared. Guys, that's smashing. Let them know Scotty McClure's up and about. Uh, because I can't do it all myself. Uh, there's a new video. It was on Periscope earlier and somebody had phoned me. Uh, one of these calls, and um, uh, I had to just tell them straight, so you'll see that I was very, very angry about it. Don't you think banning women drivers during the rush hour goes against the Equality Act? Louis, we're discussing it here, right? We're not actually doing it. If we thought it would increase road safety, then we could repeal the Equality Act and include this and say it's important you know, that you keep women off the roads at these time just because of the dangers. So there you go. Uh, Craig shared, excellent stuff, very, very good. Um, just at a naked independent swim, says Wendy Garrett. Good for you, Wendy. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Now then, uh, your nose is a bit shiny tonight, says Wendy. Is it? Right, I hadn't realised. Give me two seconds. I'll just take the shine off it. Oh, my goodness me. Is that better? There we are. Now, it's still a bit shiny. You see, when I used to do television, we always popped a little uh, powder on, a little number seven. But uh, I don't do that now. I've been subscribed for a good while to you on YouTube, says Dave. Excellent, Dave. Everybody should subscribe to Scotty McClure regardless. Everybody should follow Scotty McClure. Because there's going to come a point when you're going to want to discuss something in reality. And the time to do that is live with me on Facebook Live. Or you can also get us on Periscope, guys. Three kisses, the Wendy. Lovely, lovely. And uh, Joanna Kay says, Women drivers are more dangerous. I thought it was a joke. Uh, do you have any reports to back this up? You don't need it, Joanna Kay. You just get yourself out there, open these pretty eyes of yours, and see exactly what is going on. Wow, Scotty. Well done, amigo, says Wendy. Not at all. Is that looking better? That's excellent, Wendy. Very much appreciated. <coughs> and, guys, can you get onto Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com? Over 10 million people have visited the Scotty McClure website. There you will see the logos for GoFundMe and PayPal. If you're serious about popping a fiver or a tenner into these accounts, please do so. We're uh, trying to raise £5,000 at the moment. We are hoping... Uh, to raise five million in total, but at the moment, five thousand pounds to get us up and running to improve the quality of the broadcasts, a little bit of advertising, all that sort of stuff. And it would be a tremendous help if you could pop something in there. Uh, so, there we are. Women drivers should pay double insurance, says Robert. Very, very fair point, Robert. Actually, if they're using the roads and they are causing more danger then double the insurance, not a problem. Right, uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Share the broadcast, guys. And also type into your Facebook, say, I'm watching Scotty McClue right now. If you're Scottish, you can say, I'm watching Scotty McClue, dinky do the new. Very, very important. And um, also, let me know where you're watching. There's Paul. Where did you get your hat from, Scotty? I got my hat from a shop in Ilkley in Yorkshire. And uh, I remember it was at the time, Emmerdale, of course, uh, very, very popular, so popular on ITV right now. I like a wee shot of Emmerdale. Uh, and at that time, there's a character called Jack Sugden in Emmerdale. And uh, he was the farmer. And I came out of the shop and I put my cap on and this Yorkshire voice shouted down the street, hey, it's Jack Sugden. So there you go. Excellent stuff. Right. 
Uh, and what was the second discussion? Something about gays, says Joanna K. Jackson. Yes, can you be Christian and be gay is what we're asking Joanna. Because the Bible says with tremendous clarity, man shall not lie with man nor woman with woman. And yet gay people want to be Christian. What I'm saying is, can you be Christian and be gay? Can you combine the two? So that's what we're discussing tonight. Very, very important. And uh, Neil Tipping's watching. The Skype is on, guys, if anybody wants to Skype in. Uh, Scotty.McClue is the Skype handle. Neil Tipping, dinky do to you. Neil Tipping is perhaps one of the finest wizards Scotty McClue has ever had. And Neil Tipping and I saw in New Year, I think I've got a picture of it. We'll need to put it up in the net. Saw in New Year at the Millennium together and that was a great night and it was so good of neil to give up his time at the millennium because um you know handsome chap i'm sure he would have been invited to lots and lots of parties but we decided to bring together three massive radio stations and do a millennium program and a lady phoned in from richmond in yorkshire she said i didn't know there were programs of this quality still about on the radio isn't that fabulous? Ian Gart is watching Dinky Doo to you, Ian. Uh, hi, Scotty, says Elizabeth Jenkins. Dinky Doo, Elizabeth, lovely to have you with us. Guys, if you've just joined us, share, share, share. Tell everyone, tell 10 to tell 10, to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue, you are watching live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. And I think the difference is that uh, Facebook Live is changing the whole face of television. I can see a day when our television, we won't watch it. A lot of the younger generation don't watch television now. They do everything online. They watch Scotty McClure because Dinky Doo has come back in to a uh, young people's chat. Love thy neighbor, says Joanna K. Jackson. Good for you, Joanna K. Very interesting comment. And uh, five of you have just shared. I thank you very much. Very, very much appreciated. Keep sharing and sharing because we will build the audience, right? You've got to build your audience, I say. Was your driving instructor a woman? Says Robert. No, that would have been too frightening. I don't think I would have gotten the car, Robert, to be quite honest. Uh, so there you are. Sherry B's watching, or Sherry B. Uh, Sherry B or Sherry B, how do I say it? You must let me know. Do tell, do tell. Spread the word, guys. Let everybody know Scotty McClue is broadcasting live on Facebook Live with the big one. Two main subjects for discussion if you've just joined us. One is, um, is it possible to be Christian and be gay? Right? The Bible is quite clear in its instruction. If you are Christian, you believe the Bible is the word of God and cannot be changed. But is there a little niche there? Is there some wiggle room? In the Bible, do tell us. Uh, give us a call if you want to Skype in. I don't watch Terry, says Derek Class. is a load of rubbish. They can shove their TV license where the sun doesn't shine. Women should be made to take two driving tests just to make sure, says Paul. Becky, I think you can be Christian and gay. No one in the Bible does Jesus say anything about it. Gay ministers are being ordained now as long as you have a good heart and are of a good soul. Love thy neighbor. And Becky, you, you've got more, but I'm not going to press see more because the last time I did it, chopped off the broadcast, for goodness sake. Gary Crossan's watching. John Paul Preston. Hi, Scotty. Hi, John Paul. Scotty, I think uh, people that stink of cat should be banned from public transport, says Denny. Yes, if you smell, you shouldn't be allowed on. But how are you going to... Please that because they're already making the trains guardless. So they're saying, no, 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 we just have just the driver. He sees the doors are shut. So who's going to go around going, ah, I can smell cat. I can smell cat. Uh, Matthew says, come on, the Scots. Absolutely. Cat pee saws. Uh, so there you are. Yes, if they're thinking of cat pee. Yes, absolutely. Although it may just have happened, you know. I mean, I remember years and years ago, I had a little... West Highland Terrier and I met a pal of mine and we stood and we chatted and chatted and chatted and suddenly um you know my pal was a great big tall guy the little West Highland just lifted his leg on my pal's leg and let go Woo! that caused us to shape but he was very nice about it he said he probably thought I was a tree uh smell detectors yes 
Now you can have smell detectors. Now, uh, with modern fine alarms, deodorants can set off the fine alarm. So you could actually have a cat pee alarm in a train. And the driver says, sorry, I'll have to ask you to get off because you're absolutely boofing. So there we go. And uh, Scotty, would you ban people from smelling of anything else? Uh, or would it just be the cat, says Johnny. <laughs> yes, understand where you're coming from, Johnny. Uh, Derek Claus, a couple of lovely smiles there from you, Derek. Dinky do. Can I ask you all <clears throat> to share the broadcast again, please? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. We have a lot to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. I just thought I'd pop up with a Thursday special because you would have had enough of all this politics and election stuff. And I thought we'll go on and not tonight discuss politics. We can discuss them on Sunday. Uh, Scotty, you're on phone tonight, bud, says Derek. Absolutely. Uh, what about smelling of a Tory, says Matthew. Matthew, you you know, you, you can't do that. You cannot discriminate against political parties um, on a train. So there we are. Can we ban people who smell of single fish, says S. So there you are. Yes, I mean, if somebody, but what if it's a fisherman? There you go, you see. Uh, hi, Scotty. I'm tuning in from Pisa tonight. Uh, I'm on my holidays. Uh, it's Sherry. It's like Harry with an S-H. Right. So it's Shari. Shari B. Lovely. And two kisses. Shari B. Who's from Pisa. Excellent stuff. So there are. We've just been discussing Pisa, actually. I think that's a different kind of Pisa. So you're where the old leaning tower is. Could you imagine trying to get a mortgage on that? And yet it stood for, what, a thousand years or something like that? Uh, John Donnelly and uh, so many. Ha, ha, Scotty, says Matthew. Mary Cart is watching. Mary Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. So there we are. Any relation to Ian? Uh, I wonder. And uh, what about people who smell nice? Should they be rewarded, says Johnny? So, yes, uh, maybe a gentleman or lady gets on and you think, oh, you smell absolutely gorgeous. Here's a fiver. So there you go. Maybe we should have, instead of first class and second class carriages which i don't know if you get any more they're still first class on the railways if they're not there shouldn't be because uh, we are all the same but you should maybe have a nice coach that you can send the smelling nice people to and you could have a a pash a pash coach and a shek coach at the back of the train more of one of these old um guards wagons that you used to see on goods trains uh so excellent stuff and um, Shari, Shari B has just shared the video, and uh, that is excellent. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you've never, ever seen me before, you may, of course, be an alien life form from another planet. It's Scotty McClue saying dinky do on Facebook Live just for you. The world's top talk show with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Keep sharing, guys. And uh, tap in to your Facebooks. Tell people that you are actually watching Scotty McClue. Never, ever, ever be afraid. I know you're not afraid of work, but never, ever be afraid to right-click on the link and send all these links around. I know I do a lot of sharing on Facebook and a lot of sharing on Twitter, and I must drive some of you up the wall, but please don't be driven up the wall. It doesn't matter. So what? Nobody dies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who have we got here? Scotty, do you still hear from the Terminator? No, I haven't. Robert Devlin, I need the loo. Right off you go, son. Uh, feel free. And um, who have we got? Uh, free coffees for people who smell nice, says Dave Hemsley. He's doing a bit of advertising. David Lee Weir has just joined us. Think you do, David Lee Weir. Uh, fantastic to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty, says David Lee Weir. Tremendous. And guys, even if the, the show is a few days old, keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing because it is up to you. If you're building the Scotty McClure show, you've got to do your bit. I can't do it all. You know, people expect too much these days. And remember, this show is not for me. It's for you. I happen to be popping up and doing my stuff. But this show is for you. Make no mistake. It's an alternative to some of the rubbish that you're getting on television and radio. It's an alternative to jukebox radio 
feeding the coffers of uh, companies that might be run from out with the United Kingdom. Uh, apologies for that, says Dave. No, not at all, Dave. You never need to apologize. They already have stinking train carriages on the rail network. It's called the last train from the centre on a Saturday night. <laughs> Your monk's still a bit shiny, says Wendy. Is it? I'll give it a mop down. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to mop my monk down. Wendy Garrard says it's a bit shiny. And we don't want that, do we? <laughs> right, there we go. Giving it a good old wipe down. And I should look a lot fresher when I get back. Is that a lot better, Wendy? Are we a bit less shiny now? Tremendous stuff. Share the broadcast, guys. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. It's like saying, step on the gas, step on the gas. When you're driving, till it gets dangerous, you say, stop stepping on the gas. And uh, your conk's shiny. Yes, your conk. I meant your conk. <laughs> Hand free. Fabulous kisses, Wendy. Thank you for that. Yes, getting the message now. You don't want a shiny conk. Uh, Scotty, I sent you a friend request a few days. I hope you accept. It should that that should be accept, Elizabeth. You've put accept, e x o a c c, uh, and I will accept. Of course, I will. It's just I get so many friend requests. Bless me, that uh, it's difficult to get round them all. So that's what's been happening there. Tremendous stuff. But uh, if you can keep sharing, guys, very very important. Tell everybody we're on. And uh, so that they know, and they can come on and give us a call. Uh, Scotty, what in your opinion is the worst smell a person could have? Uh, the worst smell. What's the worst smell a person could have? Um, that's a very, very interesting one because it depends if you think, well, that's just human being, isn't it? So I don't know what the, the worst uh, smell would actually be. I'll have to think about that one. We'll put that one out to the nation, Johnny. Guys, have you got an opinion? What's the worst smell that uh, that a person could have? I remember a guy telling me about his baby daughter, and uh, she hadn't been for a for a number two for a while, and he had the baby alarm on. He heard this tremendous gurgling sound, and he went upstairs, and um, all was well. The deed had been done. And he said, when I walked into the room, he said, I, I did not change that nappy. That nappy changed me. So there you are. Uh, Becky says, gangrene. Thanks, Becky. There we are. Too much information, everybody. We'll maybe get off this subject and back on to the women drivers. B.O. says S. So there you are. Right. Uh, yes. But, I mean, you've got to admit, I mean, we're all, everybody could have a wee accident, you know. Uh, what smell women drivers with cats in their car? So there you are. Oxter. Oxter smell, says Wendy. I think old Oxter smell, Wendy. You know, I think that's the thing. If it's oof, old Oxter smell. But if it's new Oxter smell, not so bad. Hippies beg to differ. They have a rotten tooth, says Matthew. Yes, yes, somebody comes up. You're like, oof, away you go, for goodness sake. Uh, that's like uh, that's like the guy who went to the doctor and the doctor prescribed him. He said, my breath's quite bad, doctor said. Let breathe on me. He said, Oof. He said, yes. He says, I'm going to prescribe three tablespoonfuls of horse manure every day. Don't try this at home now, folks. This is for entertainment purposes only. So I'm going to prescribe three tablespoonfuls of horse manure every day. And he said, well, that cure it, doctor. He said, well, it'll certainly tone it down a good bit. Uh, so there we go. Now, uh, Scotty, have you voted today? I voted around 4 p.m. So there we are. Uh, says John Paul Preston, right, we're not going to that, John Paul, but I understand where you're coming from. I voted today, yes, I have already voted. And uh, Tony Max watching, Dave Hems is watching. Uh, wind after you've eaten potatoes. So Dave Hems, like, oh, will you take King Edwards? No, he can come for his own. Uh, so there you are, women taxi drivers, says Robert Devlin. So there you are, yes, women taxi drivers. So he thinks that's the worst smell. Women taxi drivers. My goodness me, you're hard, you guys. You really are. Right, uh, what we're doing tonight, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you've never seen me before, I am Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. We're live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. This beats television, radio. Stick your tellies and radios off when you see Scotty McClue on. Uh, television's off at 10 o'clock on a Sunday evening for the big show. 
live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock. Never ever miss a moment of Scotty McClure. You miss a moment of life. And uh, what have we got? What do you think of driverless cars? Says uh, Dave. Now, there might be value in the driverless cars, guys. Because what we could probably do there is say, uh, okay, let's make driverless cars for women. And then they can still go on the road at rush hour because they're technically not actually at the wheel. So that would be rather good. So there you go. Uh, a fiver for Scotty, everybody. Excellent stuff. Get yourselves on there to uh, gofundme.com and forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. A bag full of rusty hammers, says Johnny Emlyny. Have you ever smelt rotting potatoes in the corner of an old shed? They get damp. Uh, yes, dreadful stuff. I know some beautiful looking and smelling women taxi drivers, says Dave. I'll bet you do, Dave. Dave Weir says, lol, lol, laugh out loud. He says, fantastic stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. It's a, a Thursday evening pop-up. Now, guys, are you getting all the Scotty McClue broadcasts? We've got a Wednesday midweek pop-up. We've got broadcasts on Periscope, which is uh, on Twitter as well. Yeah? So uh, Twitter and Periscope link up there. And uh, Facebook Live, of course, Sunday nights. Pop-ups on Facebook Live. There's new stuff on YouTube. There's uh, one today where I got very angry with a guy who phoned while I was broadcasting. Um, excellent stuff. Now, uh, you bet indeed, Scotty, says Dave. Yes, indeed. Women taxi drivers are a new race on Mars. Up Periscope, says S. James. Yes, three degrees to port. Absolutely. Meet the wheel amidships, I say. Also, is it possible to be Christian and be gay? That's one of our subjects for discussion tonight. If you've got a view on that, do feel free to pop it down and let us know. Very, very, very important. So we've got a good old discussion going tonight. No idiots, please. I beg of you. We tend to have a good crowd watching, so we're all right. We don't get the idiots, but I got the idiots on Periscope. One idiot after another. So there we are. However... Uh, they didn't last very long, I can tell you that for nothing. What time on Sunday night, Scotty? I'll certainly be sharing and following you from today forth, says Johnny Emlyny. Yes, we're on uh, our 33rd show this Sunday night. 33 shows. You can see them on uh, YouTube. You'll see them throughout Facebook. And we're 10 o'clock sharp British summertime on a Sunday evening. So, if you happen to be around British Summertime Sunday evening, come and join us live on Facebook Live, guys. It's a massive, massive show. To every single one of you who joins in, who comments, who shares, I say thank you. It's lovely when I look at my notifications on Facebook and it says, 43 people have just liked your video. That is gorgeous. What would be even more gorgeous is if you said 43 people have just loved your video and 43 people have just shared your video. So it's the sharing, guys, that's important. It's lovely of you to like. It's lovely of you even to love. But if you can share, 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 share then that is very much appreciated. Andy Rutherford, just tuned in, Scott here. Missed you talking about the women drivers. Oh, absolutely. No, no, we've been talking about them. Uh, there are some very beautiful women drivers in Cannock, says Dave. Well, Cannock, of course, a very posh part of the world, Dave. And um, the men probably can't be bothered taxi driving down there. Uh, are all women allowed on Facebook on Sunday? Yes, yes, we won't ban anybody. We only ban the idiot. Scotty, you're global. I'm still in the Canary Islands, and I'm trying to share you. Three kisses from the gorgeous Wendy Garrod. Wendy, thank you very much. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. And love to the Canary Islands. My Auntie Mary had a Canary. I won't tell you where she kept it. Uh, you missed favourite smells as well, Andy, says Johnny M. Linney. So there we go. Guys, 
Can we do a bit of sharing? And can you actually, those of you who are not afraid of work, type in, I'm watching Scotty McClure on Facebook. Dinky do, are you? So there we are. Something like that. Judge ye, lest ye be judged. The Bible says, that's the bit you couldn't read in case you got cut off. Lol. Judge ye as ye be not judged. Yes, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. That's uh, effectively what we've got there. Shared Scottish is Ron Stewart. Excellent. Oh, they can. Uh, a lot of them smell of the chip shop. Yes, yes. A, a smell of, or a smell of old frying. Have you ever got that sort of smell that comes out people's letter boxes? You think sort of old frying uh, and feet and things like that and cigarette smoke. That sort of thing. It comes out the front door of the letter box of the house. You think, woof, this house stinks. Right, there we are. Have we all shared? Has everybody shared? Jamie Michael Wells is watching. Dinky doo to you, Jamie Michael Wells. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the world's top talk show with the world's top broadcaster, me, Scotty McClure, live just for you on Facebook Live, saying dinky doo. How's the time looking, folks? Uh, what do we have here? Oh, yes, quarter past ten, so there we are. Uh, we'll press on just now, though, because everybody's interested. The Bible has been changed that many times through the ages. How do we know if it's right or wrong? So there you are. Well, we don't. But they say you cannot change the word of God. But of course, you've got your Dead Sea Scrolls and your various chapters, what have you. Uh, so let's have your views on that. Uh, I think another five pounds to my big pal, says Ron Stewart. Ron. You have been incredibly generous. Please, please, please only send that through if you feel you can spare it for Scotty McClue. You are an absolute hero, Ron. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That is so good of you. Uh, that's Ron popping a fiver into Scotty McClue's GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. If anybody else is feeling flush, you think, yeah, I can spare five quid for the old fella. That would be tremendous. It will go to very, very good use, folks. We will uprate the equipment and improve the set and do some advertising about the show and build you a beautiful, independent, unbiased media. Free, and I shall take my applause or derision on the merits of my broadcasting. That's what I've always done over the last 40 years. Uh, 33 years, 40 years in entertainment, 33 years of it, broadcasting and radio, television, online, newspapers, outdoor advertising, newspaper columns, after dinner speaking, appearing in commercials, voiceovers, acting, running theatres, running radio stations, making millions and millions of pounds for media people, not for myself, of course, but that doesn't matter. I am still the richest man in the world. I just don't have a lot of money. Uh, Scotty, do you watch Question Time? Yes, I do. I'd quite like to present Question Time. I think I'd be quite good presenting Question Time. And when somebody asks a question, I'd like to ask why we've had all this austerity for the last 10 years. All right. Uh, the Prime Minister, would you like to answer that one for us? Can you imagine? Scotty McClue cheering Question Time. If the uh, if the host wanted to have a night off, uh, one of my pet hates is old women drivers. Old women drivers do a three-point turn in a junction box. It, oh, sorry, I saw an old woman driver do a three-point turn in a junction box in Irvine today. It caused a lot of hassle. You've put it's hassle, actually, Andy. Just the, the old uh, McClure, the old grammarian catches up there, and she didn't give a toss. Get them off the road, I say. Right, Andy. We shall put that to the nation. Jimmy Michael Wells, you must have some stories to tell since working with Scotty Wilson at Radio 4. A wonderful, wonderful man, Scott Wilson. He really is funny, clever, entertaining, interesting, and nice. Nice to be with. And particularly good to be with on a night out. I can tell you that. So if you're in touch with him, Say, dinky-doo, say, this is my story, this is my song. Uh, you should present a Scottish question times, as Matthew Costello. Yes, we might look at that. 
John Paul Preston, I'm going to stick another five pounds in, Scotty, because you're the best thing on Facebook, radio or television and worth every penny. John Paul Preston, same advice to you, only if you feel you can spare that. I don't want you going short. Very, very important. But to every single one of you, even if you can't spare any dosh, what I would suggest is you go to the GoFundMe page, Scotty McClue, right? GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or GoFundMe.com and put in Scotty McClue and the page should come up. Split the words, of course, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, M-C-C-L-U-E. Remember, Scotty is not with a Y. And um, go in and share it on Twitter and Facebook. There are shares for Facebook and Twitter. I think about 700 of you have shared it to date. Please share, 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 share. Excellent. Uh, who have we got there? Uh, I've just, somebody's just dashed by. Blast, I missed that. Uh, why don't you put your money in, Scotty? You must be worth fortune. Robert, I've put in thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. So don't worry. My money's all gone into radio. Uh, midweek, says Danny McLaughlin. Well, midweek, midweek pop-up we've got, we did yesterday. But uh, this one here is a Thursday special because I thought, do you know what? The world needs to be clear of politics until the polls close. I think that's very, very important. The polls should have closed now, of course. Uh, I was going to tap a woman driver, but said you needed it more, says Robert Devlin Dinky too. <laughs> Can you tell Andy Rutherford he should try and drive in the Canaries? It's not just women. They are radio rental. Fantastic. Tony Mac, hi Scotty. Uh, it's only if you're a practicing gay or a person in a sexual relationship with another gay person that you can't be a Christian because the Bible says it's wrong to lie down with another man. Tony, you're quite right. That's exactly what the Bible says. And it says it big style. Uh, hi Scotty. Uh, what have we got here? Hold on two seconds. Yes. Oh, yes, there it is there. Yes, that was the one about midweek. Sorry, I'm reading out. I'm rushing ahead. Guys, uh, can we share again, please? Share, 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 share. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Thursday Night Broadcast, live on Facebook Live. The whole world is with us. May the force be with you, because today is Star Wars Day. Fantastic stuff. So there you are. I didn't start it. I've only heard about it. Uh, Ron Stewart and 13 others just shared. Guys, boy, do we appreciate it because we're building the world's top talk show. Dinky Doo, just for you, with me, Scotty McClue. And as the audiences get bigger and bigger and bigger, guys, if you're feeling generous, go to GoFundMe.com, Scotty hyphen McClue, and, uh, sorry, forward slash Scotty, uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. See it slowly, Scotty, and you won't muck it up. I remember when I first trained on um, on driving boats, driving ships, and uh, I was with a skipper, and his advice to me when we were manoeuvring was, take it slowly, and you'll not mess it up. So there we are. Uh, Shane Scotty, dinky do says Ron, absolutely. Scotty for president. How do you put money into the GoFundMe, Kitty? Does it tell you step by step? I'm not technically minded. Becky, you don't need to be technically minded, darling. This website, the reason I went with GoFundMe is because the website is brilliant. It is absolute genius. And I shall thank you through the website as well. So if you get on to GoFundMe.com, Put in Scotty McClure, the page comes up and it says, would you like to make a donation? You pop in your card number, everything's there, and uh, it will thank you for the donation, and I shall thank you as well, and how. So there you are. Uh, if you prefer PayPal, guys, then you can paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, no hyphen. paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. The best thing if you're stuck is to go on to Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com. You'll be in the company of over 10 million people, and you will see the PayPal and the GoFundMe logo at the top, 
If you want to stick a five or a tenner in there, you're very, very grateful. I mean, people are putting all sorts in. It's tremendous. Uh, so there you are. Lady popped a hundred quid in one day without so much as a buy your leave. And uh, that kind of generosity really, really, really touches my heart, especially in this day and age, especially since, um, you know, we've had to put up with the Conservatives' austerity, which is political so that we can all get robbed blind to pay the banks back their money. Uh, what after shave you wearing, Scotties and Robert Devon? Well, I don't like to uh, advertise. Uh, I call it, um, what is it? Uh, wood Spice. So there we go. Very nice. Uh, Andy's watching there. Jim Clark's watching Dinky Doo, Jim. I hope you're all right. I heard you had a bit of problem. Uh, Shared Scotty, Dinky Doo, says Ron Stewart. Now, I've actually put up on Periscope when we're broadcasting that I could be the next president of the United States of America. The only reason I'm not the president of the United States of America right now is uh, because I'm not an American citizen. And apparently you have to be. But I think this opens a very interesting thing. Should you have to be an American citizen to be the president of America? Should you have to be Catholic to be the next Pope? Or could you take somebody ordained or leave from other Christian denominations? Just a thought, you know. Uh, I'm just putting all that out there. Scotty, my mate works in the trains. He told me the worst smell any anyone can have is the smell of depression. I know what he means. I think I actually know that. Old Spice, Scotty. No, 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 no. Wood Spice. I used to wear the Old Spice. And I always got my dad some Old Spice uh, for Christmas in the white bottle with the little lid that you popped in. Shook it up. You can smell it. Yeah, it's interesting. How smells are evocative, isn't it? And they evoke a person. Sorry for spraying that. They evoke a person. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so there you are. Becky says, the Tories are thieving pigs, and that's all I'm saying. And a kiss. All right, there we are. I mean, I think um, it's the whole concept. I think that's maybe a little bit harsh as a generalization, but, uh, but there we go. That's what you've said. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, Craig Shaner says, is it true that you were once, <laughs> so Craig, I uh, am not going there at all, so there you are, uh, crazy, crazy stuff, in fact, what we'll do is, we'll just take that out, that's fine, there you go, and uh, I'll just delete that, right, and um, what else have we got, a pound for a shout out, Scotty, we'll get the cash up, says Ron Stewart, all right, Last thing, before I go tonight, let's do a shout out and you can pop a pound in gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen McClue or paypal.me forward slash scotty McClue. So there you are. Uh, Alan Cadden, are we in time? Christianity rivals humanity. Nivek says, just shared your video. Let everybody know we appreciate it. Uh, we've got, um, sorry, says Craig. I understand, Sir Craig. No bother, Craig. Scotty, do you know Adele from Cumbernauld? Um, I probably do, Johnny. She's probably on my Facebook. Right. Here it is. Uh, just pop up your name and write shout beside it. Okay? So pop your name. Send me uh, a Facebook Live with shout. I will shout out your name in a very positive way. And you can stick a quid in gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue are you up for that right let's do it and then i shall push off so the last two or three minutes of the show are shout outs so there we are dave hemsley from cannock in staffordshire dinky do you owe me a quid <laughs> robert devlin you fine fellow, you haven't said where you're from, but I shout out Robert Devlin. There's a name to conjure with. You owe me a quid. 
When you get home from trucking, six pounds, no problem. Dinky do, says Ron Stewart. Ron, you're an absolute angel, I thank you. I'm going to Betty Bowes smiling tonight. Well done, Scotty, says Wendy. Wendy, it was just to get the people away from all that boring election politics news stuff. This is the way television should be, and this is the way it's going. The program is the people's program. Then you won't have loneliness at night. I get my sense of smell. After being, I lost my sense of smell after being struck in the head by a backwards Morty, says Jed. So there we are. Robert Devlin Arden. I say dinky do to you, Robert Devlin. So that's the same pound. So you don't get charged twice on here. All is very fair. Jed Fitzsimmons. Scotty, give us a wrap and your favourite smell. And I'll pop in a tenner. A wrap, right. Here is something, Dinky Do, and I will say it's just for you. Get your Facebook live and speak to Scotty McClure. Just broadcasting new, but I'll come back to you. Thank you for being on the phone, and you're never home alone. I will say, Dinky Do, thanks for watching Scotty McClure. If you want to feel alive, then tune in to Facebook Live. If you're a lady or if you're men, tune in at 10 to me, Dinky Do, Scotty McClue, just for you. It's a wrap. Okay, guys, did you like that one? Uh, right, so there we are. So I've done a wrap. So Johnny Emlyny, uh, you owe me a tenner. Yes, and I know you're as good as your word. Fantastic, says Ron Stewart. There we are. Bit of a rap. Just came off the top of the head, guys. I am a rapper. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant rap, Scotty, says John Paul Preston. Yay, says Wendy Garrod. Why not? Bit of nonsense, Wendy. And uh, who else have we got? Right, one more shout out. Amazing, says Jed Fitzsimmons. I say to you, Dinky Doo, one more shout out. I'm determined to make another quid tonight on applause or derision. So if anybody wants a shout out, just put your name and put shout and I will give you a shout out and you owe me a pound on gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. You will be well thanked, guys. He's just bust his creek. <laughs> McClure! McClure is in the house. <laughs> this is fantastic, guys. I think we should uh, make quite a thing of this. This is tremendous. Shout! Becky Letton, one of the finest ladies in the world. A shout out to Becky Letton. There's a name to conjure with. You owe me a quid. <laughs> right, guys. It's time for me to push off. Thank you so much for a fabulous, fabulous show tonight. Great stuff. A tenor in me, you're a wee legend. Johnny Emlyny, you're the legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your kindness, for your generosity, for your fun, for your time, for your laughter, for your humanity. Bless every single one of you. Every pound and every penny you put into that GoFundMe fund, I will make sure that it goes as far as possible. The feeding of the 5,000. Uh, lol says Becky, night night legend says Robert Devlin, night night Robert Devlin you legend, Brill Stuff says Becky Letton, Lisa Preston has given us a row of motties, Buenas noches, Buenas noches senora, and night night big man, dinky do to all of you guys, Scotty McClure is saying goodbye everybody goodbye, take care everybody as you go Goodbye, everybody. Of winter zain, au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky doo. Scotty McClure has left the building. Yes.